some employees thought that they had discovered some bodies in the bottom of a grain car. The bodies were very badly decomposed. Um, various stages of um, decomposition in skeletonization and mummification. Think about sticking, sticking yourself into a 160 degree oven and seal it up. The cause of death was determined to be a hyperthermia and dehydration and the manner of death was determined to be homicide. You will sweat, you will drink cold water, you will jump in a cold pool, you will, you'll sprawl out. You know, you do all the things that we can do. Um, almost none of these thing, options were available to these individuals. Later on, you know, we discovered it looked like they had kind of pulled at the, some of the uh, material that, you know, the, the, the weatherization stuff, you know, to kind of keep the rain and stuff out of it, but it kind of looked like they had kind of torn at that to get out, but, you know, it was, a, it was just a futile attempt. You know, if the train had been moving and there had been reasonable ventilation, you know, they might have been able to forestall some of these, these, these changes in temperature. Um, but every time that train stopped, it would have just been a uh, hellish. The train crossed into the United States from Mexico on June 15th of 2002. The car arrived in Denison, Iowa on October 15th of 2002, at which time the bodies uh, were discovered the following day.